Hi guys, this is Dave, traditionalcatholichomestead.com. Today I'm going to show you guys our DIY hydroponic fodder system that uh, we created for our grass-fed cattle and pasture dairy here uh, in north central Idaho. During the winter time we don't have a lot of grass so we try to get them a little something here for the winter time. This is our soaking system for our sprouted microgreen fodder, hydroponic fodder system that we use for our cattle. Here we got about 16 pounds. In each one of these buckets we soak for, we've come up with a 12 hour soak being perfect for us in our system. Uh, we've gone from one hour everything up to 24 and the 12 hour soak seems to work perfect for us. Good germination. But this is what we start out with here is uh, you know, a couple buckets. This is a uh, whole grain barley. We get this from our uh, grain silos and we feed this out whole. Um, this is just feed grade. I, I think we probably have a little better or quicker germination with uh, seed grade barley but we have access to this feed grade barley and so this is what we're using. We're getting pretty good results with it. Sometimes we got a little bit slower. We had to turn up the heat a little bit on our system but that's what we're with so that's what we use so here we go we're draining out our soaked uh, soaked barley here basically what we have are just your standard five gallon bucket we got a bunch of little eighth inch holes drilled in the bottom so that they drain out and then we uh, double stack them inside of these buckets fill that up with water and soak them for you know 12 hours and we're ready to go into our fodder system all right, so first up, um, this is our finished fodder we got going for our cows. We're getting ready to feed this out. You can see uh, we're pretty well snowed in. I use a snowmobile to bring this and a couple bales of hay out for our dairy cows every morning. So this is what we got. That's our finished fodder product. All right, so here's another shot. This is our another batch of finished fodder. It's been going for about six days. You can see each one of these flakes between 10 and 12 pounds. We'll start off with uh, two pounds of barley. Um, so that's yesterday's stuff we spread out. You can see in here, we've got two eight foot racks. This system produces about 160 pounds of bar uh, barley fodder a day. Um, we run it, we have a mister system on top, and then we just use. These are a, kind of a standard 1020 tray you get for starting your your plants in the spring and whatnot. Um, they have holes in the bottom so it drains down, starts the top water. We run a two and a half minute burst of water every six hours and then it comes down. And so this stuff right here we'll be uh, pulling out tomorrow. There'll be another inch or two of growth on that and then two days from now we got this and there'll be probably about three or four inches of growth on that before we use it so that's our system we're doing some experiments here we got uh, lighted side non lighted side growths about the same on the two you can see from here to here um, this side has lights that side doesn't this side's a little bit paler not quite as green as this side so that's where we're at right now but this is it about 250 300 bucks worth of materials into this guy they're calling this uh, fodder system 0.7 and we've got some ideas for improving this for maybe next year but that's our start right there so this is probably our most expensive part of the uh, hydroponic fodder system for the cattle there's the timer. It's a six station timer. It runs on a nine volt battery, but it's pretty slick. You can run from a, you know, one second up to one day. Anything in between for your um, timing on your spray. And then there's the valve. So like I was saying a second ago, we have about 250 bucks into our fodder system. Probably 150 of it is right there. Um, this is a temporary system. You can see that's our water and spray system we have little micro jet misters and then here's our custom setup for getting water to the system 
see it just runs in here into a utility basin and hooks to the sink um, biggest problem with this setup really is lack of water pressure for those misters um, so that's going to be in our version 1.0 we're going to have a more permanent system but this is working pretty good for us so far um, definitely learning about creating the fodder and seeing what does and doesn't work and getting ideas but that's it DIY fodder 250 bucks 160 pounds a day production it's good supplemental feed for our cattle reduces hay use and provides good nutrition Thanks a lot, guys. Okay, guys, we're uh, feeding out our hydroponic microgreen fodder, barley fodder for the cows here. This is our dairy cows and our developing heifers. So this winter time, you can see these guys love this stuff. Gets a little bit competitive for the hay when we throw it out here, but as soon as we drop some of this fodder down, stuff gets pretty ridiculous. They absolutely love it. You see we got some second cutting alfalfa there, some grass hay, and then this fodder. And they're just going for the fodder. Tastes good, good nutrition for them. All right, so these are our dry pregnant cows and breeding bulls. You see, first thing they go for, get all excited about, is that fodder. You know, plenty of hay in there for them these guys get a lower quality a little grass hay but you can see them just grabbing that stuff tossing it around this little girl she's bottom of the totem pole but she does all right and there's a little big bossy let's see how these guys do it they'll dig through that snow that's about two feet deep they're dragging belly to get in there we're adding some organic matter to this pasture by feeding them out here. So, anyway, there you go. You can see that fodder. Good uh, supplemental feed for them. High energy. Uh, good protein in it. And boy, they really thrive with not a whole lot of other inputs in there. You know, that's what you get with the uh, fodder system. So, this is not for these animals it's not going to be a complete ration that's why they have the, the hay but you see what they go for first delicious like candy with ice cream and everything else on top for them so they just love it 